Okay, Don, here's the mechanism I've designed and I've built. So we're now going to take and set this thing in motion. And you can see we got it traveling across. You can see the four bearing blocks on the guide rods. The blue object is the threaded block. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can actually see the coupling on the motor rotating as this moves back and forth on here. I think you might even be able to see the 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 shaft. I don't know if I maybe if I adjust the focus a little bit here. You can see the shaft actually rotating. Here comes the block coming back again. And I've just got it set so that it oscillates back and forth. I can just set it for a single travel or I can have it loop where all it does is just travel in one direction. Or I can have it just going back and forth like this does. But you can see there's the motor that I've designed that I created in a 3D model. You see the coupling. Get my hand off the handle here. You see the coupling there rotating. You can see the shaft rotating. And everything is moving back and forth just as we'd like to have it, you know, to be operating on your, your tornado. So there's the model. What do you think?